They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube. One word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clip channel and our TikTok channel. So if you want to click on the link, it'll take you to the full episodes. And of course, you can navigate the page. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. And ring the notification bell. And, of course, leave us a comment if you want us to uh, talk about anything particular. Um, then we can bring it up on the topic. But, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Jeff, how was your Easter? I slaved away. <laughs> you I what? slaved away. You, you, Boy, you, Amazon you, you, was you, like, you, you, we only got four days off, motherfucker. And that's the white man's holidays. <laughs> We don't do that religious stuff. <laughs> we gotta make that they money. They said. They said. What did they say? New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Fourth of July. I think they said that. I was like Fourth of July. You know why? It's not a religious holiday. But Christmas is. Yeah. No, it's a pagan. Christmas is wait. A pagan. Is it? Christmas is a pagan holiday. So pa paganism is in a religion. Yes, but it's not accepted Stop. by. <laughs> The Christians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. I hate you, man. Uh, yeah, it was. The Christians don't accept it just because there's Christ in it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My boss kept sending us reminders. <laughs> you do not have the day off. <laughs> you better show up. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, this is crazy. Because, like, for a week, yeah. I kept asking people, do we have Sunday off? Do we have Easter off? Do we have Easter Everyone off? Everyone trying to call no off. No one would ever tell me the answer. Because they want you to call off. I'm like, what kind of book? Hell yeah. Done it, They're bro. trying to get your money. I would have done it if is I there like at least if a, I didn't want money. Is there, like, an incentive or a bonus? Hell no. For what the fuck? Oh, well, we got a uh, day after Easter eggs. Bruh. Boy, that chocolate was ashy. Bruh. I opened up that. Hershey's that's that's last year's chocolate. I told you it tasted weird. It wasn't me. I told you it tasted weird. Bruh. Bruh, I peeled that shit. I'm like. See what happened? Why is this Hershey kids See dusty? what happened? I ate it for you. So if no, you I, died, ate, I ate one too. If you if you we die, die together. Nah. You, we die together. No, nah, well, you're dying first. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I'd watch you die. And then I'd realize, <laughs> hey, I might die. So I'd just throw up. And then I'd call the ambulance. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, my brother ate some dusty ass chocolate. It's just like that. That's it's crazy. It's just like that takes over. Like, uh, yeah, my dad's dead. Are you okay? Yeah, he's kind of just laying on the floor. He had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> he was so calm about it. Oh, man. Yeah. What the heck? That's crazy. No, nah, but I knew it was like weird tasting chocolate. I'm like, no, nah, I opened that chocolate. I'm like, bro, Hershey's don't taste I'm like, like that. I'm like, this crazy. Bro, I got it on, I got it on second streak. It I, had like needles and I, I crack opened cocaine up, sprinkles bro. on it. It came with a, the only thing I really ate was the Kit Kat because, you know, Kit Kat. It still really. tasted weird because right. it was melted. So that means they left it out in the sun and then made you. Boy, that shit cooked, man. I don't know what the fuck that was, bro. <laughs> Oh, they probably put that bitch in the air fryer. They're trying man. to make their own, what their, the own uh, their own Kit Kat, or or it Amazon melted Kat. and then they refroze it or something. Like Amazon that. Kat. But yeah, man, open up that the, the little Easter egg because they brought us a little treat. They're like, thanks for working while everyone was enjoying the day off. But uh, open that thing up, ashy ass uh, uh, chocolates. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, it was pretty solid. I didn't really think about nothing traffic was beautiful uh -huh. everyone was at the beach and i noticed something bro What's up? this might be like i don't know maybe some like i don't want to get too all Ooh. oh i heard beneath the beach is opened up again which is why uh the store around there is so busy oh it got busy yeah did they are they done with the cleanup and repair not repairs but like no but continue it's before accessible you, before you forget your story oh um It's because you said before I forget my story, I forgot the story. What was I saying? Yeah, damn. That's tough. That's tough. No, I'm really trying to remember what the fuck you I was talking about. You were talking about something around Beneath Beach. 
No, I wasn't. You said Bonita Beach. That's why I brought it up, because you said something about beach. I didn't say Bonita Beach. Damn. The, the stores are around there. I have no idea God what I was going to say. damn, Yep, bro. sorry. 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 Um, uh, oh, but what was... Uh, I think I was talking about... One thing I realized, though, is it was almost kind of like... I don't know. I don't want to say holy, but it was kind of like... On Sunday? Yes, bro. Oh. We had rain for what? Months. Months. And if we did, it would like sprinkle and then it would evaporate before it touched the ground. Yeah, like like my mom was saying, I have crunchy grass. <sighs> but man, Easter, the heavens opened up, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The Je heavens opened Jesus finally was up. resurrected. What? It was a different day, but The tears know. flowed from the clouds. <laughs> and life rose again from our lawns. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the rain, Lord. Yep. That was an amazing day. Well, bro, but now we have rain all week. I'm so glad, man. I love rain weather, bro. Yep. Same. It gives me an excuse other than... To not do nothing. Exactly. Bro, I seen a TikTok where I was like, bro, you guys don't understand how much I love doing nothing. Oh, yeah. I speed home from work. And you think I'm... I'm doing something crazy. Yeah, you think I'm doing something. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to get somewhere. I got something to do. Someone's in trouble. No. I just want to get home so I can do nothing. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that's the what? same feeling. It's like I tell I even told my boss this to her face. I was like, I was like, boss, you gotta understand. I'm coming here to do the job. But I come to work to go home. To go home. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing. That's my motivation to get this job done. Yeah. So I can go home and do nothing. And I will speed. <laughs> I will do 90 and a 45. So I can go home, cut on the TV, put a pizza in the oven, take my pants off, get naked, and eat some slices and watch anime, bro. bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? And then go to sleep. Hey, at least you're being honest. And then go to sleep. I want to go honest. home and do nothing. Bro, I'm getting to that age, bro. Like, it's like if we're... if. If the boys ain't going out for drinks, if the boys ain't planning nothing, my ass is home, bro. My ass is home. I I ain't got that kind of time and energy to go out clubbing, bars and shit. That's nah, bro. That's old people. That's shit. that's young people. That's shit. young people shit, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna start saying that's young people shit, man. Yep. You can call them youngins. Now. Yeah. You're there. The three O's around the corner. Give give me give me <laughs> give me a year and a half. It's over. Yep. I'm done. I'm retiring, bro. I'm never gonna set foot in a club ever again. Yeah. Unless it's some like high quality shit and people ain't. Well, yeah, it. yeah, with you like people chilling and yeah. drinking instead of like <laughs> exactly <laughs> sweating and yeah. drinking and drunk and ass and, juice and everything, all that. I never understood that. Uh, I never shit. Like, you're like, why my arms smell weird? That's crazy, <laughs> bro. I don't know how you go to. A, that's crazy, man. Oh man, I never understood that though. Like, how people go to the club and then like. I don't know, immediately take someone home. Baby and, baby wipes. And one night stand. It's like, motherfucker, you stink, bro. Like, you fucking stink. And I don't, and I'm a, like, I don't got extra clothes, so I'm finna shower at your crib, bro. Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just a lot of, that's a lot of so much thought process yeah, going through lot, that. You know, I'm an overthinker, so I be overthinking shit like that. It's like, nah, bro. Yeah. Nah. Couldn't do it. Couldn't be me. Damn. Couldn't be me. But, yeah, man. Damn, damn, damn. So, it's just like, that's just kind of like the mood I've been in. You know, like, I'm starting to settle into that mood where it's like, I'm not going to do anything if it's not going to further me personally in my life, my career, my money. So, but like see, that. that's the thing, though. It's like, you say you come home and want to do nothing, but you end up coming home and doing things because right. we're trying to move this forward. So, oh, it's word. like, it doesn't Absolutely. matter... If you would go go to work, well, and go the, home. the the same process applies for everything. Like yeah. the faster I get this work done, the less you would have to. The do. less I have to do. Yeah. The earlier I can start. So then doing it'd nothing. literally just be going to, from state to state, mm -hmm. finding studios, and mm -hmm. then just recording an episode, that's and facts. then of course releasing it. But that's facts. No, I feel you, man. I feel you on that. It's and like, that's why I want to travel. I want to do nothing in a different country. You know what I'm saying? You think I'm about to plan some hiking and, you know, parasailing and all. Yeah. No, nah, motherfucker, I'm going to rent a hotel and do nothing in that bitch. <laughs> I'm going to book two weeks and lay in that bed 
order room service and do fucking nothing. Uh, and then just take pictures of the skyline and flex on motherfuckers. Yep. You're yeah. like, look what I'm doing. But they don't know I'm doing nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. We should book a cruise so we can do nothing oh, on man. the water. Bruh. That's fire, bro. Bro. That's what doesn't make any sense to me. Like, you book a cruise on the water and then there's a pool on the boat. Whoa. There's a lot of reasons why, Jeff. No one's going to dive into the ocean. Why not? They You're in just... the middle of the whole hey. ass ocean. Hey, dive and then they get you Nah, that's you different. Nah, you don't understand. <laughs> Waves in the far ocean? Nah, bro. These ain't no little l- low tide little, you know, where it comes up on yeah. the sand. and all. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. These are swells. Yeah. I mean, like. If you were to... Nah, you don't understand, bro. <laughs> you don't understand. Because I've been into, like, the deep ocean. Because I remember, I think it was a few years back when I went to Sarasota with Caleb. Mm-hmm. I think it was for... What was it for? It was, like, a summer holiday or something. It was either a birthday, a summer holiday, or a graduation. Yeah. Event. And uh, we ended up going out to Sarasota, went to the beach. And that day, like, it was, like, storming. So there was huge swells. Bruh, I got I got into the water with a skim board, and I didn't realize there was a drop off in the shore. Oh, so it dips so Yeah, so like the the you went underwater. Yeah, so the shore is like leveled, smooth, 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 and then it just dropped, and then I ended up falling, and this thing was like way above my head. You know what I'm saying? And the waves were coming in. Hold and your breath. Bruh. And start swimming to the top. Huge swells, man. Huge swells. Or, um, also, when we went out to, uh, I want to say, like, we kind of w- w- went off the, I think this was last year or two. I can't believe this was almost two years ago. Mm-hmm. Or it could have been last year when I went with Caleb and his family to the, um, the Gulf Coast. And we took a little dinghy or something. Little yeah. dinghy boats. And... <laughs> Caleb, Caleb and his dad were like, <laughs> it was hilarious, because Caleb's driving the boat. Um, his dad has like, like, uh, vertigo. That's that. That's the that's the day you got um, sunburn, right? Because you were out in the sun for so long. Did I get sunburn? Like it was like you were starting like to peel, and I'm like Jeff, you're. Bald. Oh yeah, I got cooked. Yeah, bro. I got. Yeah. I got. And I'm like, fried. dude, you're like really dark. I got fried, man. Bro. So, yeah, so his dad has, like, vertigo or something like that. So he has to take these medicine things mm-hmm. to help his balance and mm-hmm. stuff. And we're heading out to the Gulf. And as you're exiting Estero Bay, um, there's a lot of sandbars. Mm-hmm. So if you get stuck in the sandbar, you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. You're screwed. Especially now after the hurricane, there's like a, mm-hmm. a lot of sandbars. So you mm-hmm. and it, that's why I was ba- it baffles me how people are like speeding past these bridges and and sandbars and you're like, "Bro, you can see the bottom. You're going to fuck Yo, up your boat." Man, that's crazy. I think that's why they speed. They think if they can like if they can just, just ram like, through it, they won't get glide. stuck. Well, that that depends if you have like an onboard engine or if you have a propeller. Most of them pretty much yeah. probably has a propeller. You know what I'm saying. But it's uh yatch. So we didn't follow the map where we were supposed to take the sterile bay, like kind of stay close to the coast, like hug the coast. Yeah. Caleb ends up going out into the deep ocean because there was a sandbar that was like, I would say, a hundred yards wide. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't cut through it because we had already exited the bay. We, we were way too far off the coast to really like, you know, like go back or continue straight in that direction yeah. so we had to go around the sandbar and the sandbar was so wide we ended up going out like into like deep waters uh so you and can avoid the sandbar bruh not in a dinghy bro not in a dinghy bro and you guys got stuck no we didn't get stuck oh, okay we were avoiding the sandbar like it got to a point where i think we had to get out and like kind of walk on the sandbar mm-hmm. and kind of help the 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 boat kind of get out because we almost did get stuck a couple times but when we were going around the sandbar bro the swell like literally to you it looks like a little wave but once you saw the wave come it would literally tilt the dinghy like it was just rocking us so you're just holding on to this bitch. no i was laughing my fucking ass off. like we gonna die I'm like we gonna die bitch <laughs> 
I'm like, this is my first time out in this motherfucker. Oh, shit. I'm like, we gonna die. And oh, I'm shit. just laughing. No, it's just crazy to me. It's like every time, every time we're in dangerous situations, we just start laughing. Oh, bro. Because the first thing that goes through your mind is, yep, I'm going to die. This real life, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. The simulation said, fuck you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're done today. What the heck? No, nah, that, that's literally me in every, like, life or death situation. Like, I get... You're excited. I'm excited, which is why, like, I wouldn't say I chase the thrill, but, like... When it comes to when you. When it comes to me... There's no fear. I enjoy it. Yeah. I fucking enjoy you it. You say you, you chase it because you're like, man, this is exciting, but we might die. Right. That's why it's exciting. Right. And if we live, boy, I'm about to talk so much shit. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I'm about to talk so much shit. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Oh, for sure. I like that. For sure, man. That's why, like, me, I don't mind. I will try any adventurous thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. You want to go mountain climbing? You want to go whitewater rafting? Uh -huh. I'll try it. Knowing that there's a possibility. possibility. I'm going to Yeah, try. and uh, again, you know too, that's, it was like, uh, even though we knew... Um, not to bring back the story, but even though we knew that there was gators in the Estero River, we still went Word. because it's like, yeah, there's a possibility, but the probability of it. But it, yeah, but if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna have the best time of my life. And I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got a story to tell. Yep. I love it. Have a good life. For the ages. <laughs> For the ages. Oh man, that's For fire. Sure. That's what's up, man. That's fire. How was your Easter, man? I know you had that whole day off, bro. It was. I mean, it was. You know me. I don't really celebrate Easter, but uh, I literally woke up at. What was it? Eight. eight yeah, she got to sleep in, bro. Yeah, I got to sleep in. That's you sleeping in eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old man. You know, that's you sleeping in, I'm bro. I'm an old man. That's wild. Um, yeah, I got it. I went to sleep at eight. Well, ended up waking up at seven o'clock the next day, and then mm -hmm. I just started just chilling, watching movies, because you know I don't really work out on the weekends. Word. Um, but um, yeah, I just I just relaxed and then caught up on some on some on some films. Um. Yeah, you've been binging films a lot lately. Yeah. Well, because I keep getting recommendations, so I'm just checking them out to see if they're good. Um, Where I do you go for that? You just like see like a top 10 YouTube or something? Like no. Or? Uh, so I've been getting all the recommendations from people at, at the, the store that I'm working at right now. So I there's a produce manager named Matt. He really He's really like a Star Wars nerd and Marvel and all that stuff like that. Mm. So he kind of goes to the theaters. And watches the movies, um, and watches the movies there. Cause like when I told him about John Wick, the day he got out of a work is the same day that he went to go to the theaters. Cause he's he's single, so he can literally do whatever. Yeah, he, wants. he got he got that free time. He got that free time, Word. so he's literally like, "Hey Jeff, I'm gonna go watch John Wick." And then he came back the next day. I said, "How was it?" He was like, "It was fantastic." Oh, same thing. Man. Yeah, it was yeah. He's like, "The ending was perfect." Blah blah blah. Then he told me about Ant Man. Then he told me about. Um, what do you think about Ant Man? He hated it. No, it was garbage. He oh. said the only thing that held the movie together was Jonathan Majors that played Kang the Conqueror. Kang. Yeah, so... Um, you think he's going to be like... I'll let you finish. Uh, but do you replace? think... No, or you think he'll be like the evil version of what Iron Man was? Like he's such a good villain, maybe? You, uh, do you think they're building up to be, him to, to be a good villain? Well, we don't know now. That it's the the it's in the waters because of the whole controversial... Uh, he he oh, beat a his white son. woman. So... No, no, no. Even a sweet Swedish, right? Swedish, white she's Swedish, woman. and she's and apparently he's the one that called the cops on on that, and then she's cha re retracting her statement. So, but even so, Marvel already he already lost a couple contracts, and Marvel already are in the works of talking about removing him. That's as, great. As Kane, even though the end credits, literally the 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 end credits and the um the end credits were was the the. It's you, you know the Hall of Rick, right, 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 right. It was like the, it was like a Hall of Kang. Kangs, yeah, from you. every universe. So, and then of course they showed a, a sneak peek to um, Loki season two at the end end credits. Bro, I feel like I've been waiting for that. It's coming this year. It's coming forever. This year. It dropped two years ago, right? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. But uh, and and I thought and I thought they were gonna end their one season because they usually do like a one season. Isn't type that thing. what we kept hearing? It was only gonna be one season. And then at the end, it's like season. that's what they said with a l bunch of Disney Plus yeah. series, yeah. bro. But then they said the end of uh, the end of uh, at the end of the Loki season one, they said season two is coming. So um, no man, yeah, I, I, I just been kind of getting re recommendations. Like uh, he told me about Terrifier. About Art the Clown, he doesn't really talk. 
but he murders you horribly. That's a movie? Yes. That came out mm-hmm. in theaters? Terrifier. No, Terrifier um, 1 came out 2018 post uh, pre-pandemic. And then, of course, Terrifier 2 came out 2022. I didn't even know that was a real... It's on. It's a free on. Uh, pr- it's free on Prime. Oh, it's an Amazon movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So if you have Amazon, it's free. But um, he basically never talks. But then you find out at the movie at the end of the movie that he's a supernatural clown because a killer clown. Yeah, because he he shot. So what separates him from it? I would say he's way better. Because remember, it is an alien that uses your fears to kill you. And how did he kill you? Him? He just killed you. What do you mean? Well, he... Like... I'll give you one scene. Like, on some John Wayne Gacy shit? Or, like... Worse than that. Like, so, let me give you one scene. He tied a... He tied a girl upside down naked. Grabbed the saw in his... Yeah. (laughs) And went... No, okay. Yep. Gotcha. (laughs) Gotcha. Yo! Yo! Uh Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So... I got an imagination. Um... Um, and of course the, the girl that survived at the end, he mutilated her face because he was eating it. And then when the cops came to kill him, he was a cannibal too. Yeah. Well, he's not human. You don't find out. Wait, what do you mean? He's not human. He's he, a monster, yes. an alien. He's a, he's a demon or something like that. I don't know what he is. All right. So I'm not going to even say he's a demon. I don't know what he is, but at the, at the first, the first film was okay. The second one was way better. There was story to it. There was substance. The first one, he just started killing people for no random reason. So it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go into why he's doing it. He just does it, you know? So when the cops were about to take him in, he shot himself in the head. And then at the end of the movie, he wakes up and kills the coroner. Damn. So he's like Bruce Banner. He yeah. tried to commit suicide. Basically, but without the Hulk split, came out. But, so but, his Hulk is the clown. Yeah. <laughs> his name weird. is Art the Clown. So, art, yeah, art, and and you're and it's funny because it's a, he's a mime clown. He never says anything. Like when oh, he's, so he's a mime. Yes, when he does this, he's like, oh, that's interesting. All right, you said he's a mime. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you said sure, he man. was because I'm just thinking. Eh, it's just another yeah, we shit. can watch. We can watch one and two after we start. We killer we, we, clowns from space. It. Uh, uh, John Wayne Gacy. Like I'm like, eh, you know, but a mime. Yeah, yes. he's a mime clown. Yeah, like, even when you like stab him or anything like that, nothing he's comes silent. Out. Silence. Like on some Jason yeah. Voorhees. Like shit. when you're oh, like, God. when you hit him, he's like, stop it. Oh, he clowning you. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, when he's killing you, <laughs> that's crazy. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah. amazing. It was good. Mm-hmm. Okay, bad. Yeah, the second one was, I, I'd say the first one was okay, but the second one was way better because there was actually story and substance to it. So the first one, it just starts off with him. So from what Matt, the produce manager, was telling me was the direction that this uh, di- this director is going is he's going backwards. So I told him two, no, the second movie should have been the first one. The first one should have been the second. So it was second. a prequel movie. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It wasn't a prequel. So basically, they just start off with this clown just killing people. Mm-hmm. And then the second one, they're like, okay, dad used to draw this clown. Why does why is it in his art book? He killed himself. Word. The daughters are connected to it. The mom's connected to it. So it's like, where did this clown come from? Like, they're putting more substance in the story. Word. So, and, the, and then the third one's being filmed right now to be released next year. So it, it's doing so well. That the prime it's getting a trilogy, yeah, oh, yeah, crazy. it's doing so well. Yeah. It's getting a trilogy. mime killer, killer, yeah, mime. yeah. So it's it's <laughs> it's amazing. And so would, now, like, I think it would have been cool because if he is a demon, he would kill you like in the mimiest way ever with invisible shit. Oh, for him, I guess that would be too easy. He no, likes, that's amazing. He likes to do it himself. No, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> you don't understand how amazing that would be. Yeah, like. Man, invisible mime shit, mm-hmm. and they would leave leave it up to the audience to know what the fuck he's using. Yeah, uh, so, like you okay. get what I'm saying. Oh, like the weapons are mime, shit. right? The oh, okay. mime okay. shit, like so an he's like visible lasso. Or he some always shit. has a bag too. He always has a trash bag with uh, <laughs> weapons in it. So he'll he'll go into the bag. He'll pull out the stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He'll like, pick it up. That would be some crazy shit. Like if he actually like. If it was invisible mime props, uh-huh. and you're like, how the fuck am I being stabbed? You know, like, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? I got you, like, I got if you. he did, like, an invisible gun, yeah. or, like, a chainsaw, 
Yeah, you know and what I'm it's saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> and every time he's killing killing the victim, he's laughing That's as he crazy. does it. Silent laugh. Silent That's laugh. Crazy. Bruh, bruh, you'll love it. <laughs> and the only time you'll hear people talk is when the um the the, the victims are, are being uh, mutilated or or something like that. But no, it's 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 crazy. It was um but that was a pretty good film. So no, people are just putting me um putting me onto onto certain films. So I just started watching that, and that's what I basically. So I did the Ant Man. I did sixty five million with Adam Driver, sixty five right. million years um, with Adam Driver. That was also a good. What was movie the too. biggest? What was your, oh okay? Wait, it just dropped, so you don't want to ruin anything. No, actually, it's on digital, and 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 so it's been out for a while. Really? Yeah, it was like a February movie. Yes, sir. Wait, why do I feel like we just watched the trailer for? Cause we late as fuck. Yep. That's why. What the hell? <laughs> Cause we're busy. What the hell? Yeah, cause like you point, you said something, and then I pointed out how like that didn't make any fucking sense. I'm like, you're so advanced, you can time travel, you can warp shit, quantum bombs, and whatever, but you can't cure a sickness, bro. A sickness. That's crazy. Well, well like That's I said, crazy. remember they could, they just didn't have the money. That's the thing, and they weren't gonna pay him. What do you mean you didn't have the money? You're literally an advanced civilization what the fuck and, does money even and mean i think to you? and i think that's where they fucked up yeah because <laughs> what does because, money mean to you well because in that in that sense they still had class like i was having a conversation with um i was having a conversation with matt yesterday about the direction that elon musk is trying to go for society he, where he was basically he was basically saying that um elon musk is literally trying to get us to the point where everything is free where we're right, where satellite giving up our cars, resources, resources, mining asteroids, like yes. unlimited, like yes. motherfucker, well, shit should just be free because the universe is infinite. Like it doesn't make sense and, to and assign that's when, and that's when, uh, value to shit you can find and for infinitely the, anywhere. Yeah, and for the first time he's ever heard you own nothing and you'll be happy. And he's like, happy. man, that you're right. That sounds pretty nice. I saw, yeah, exactly. And then neat. of course, uh, Harrell, one of the the, the assistant data managers, like, what does that mean? I said, you will you will be fulfilled. You will have food you will have a place to live you won't be poor you no, won't you be, be poor. struggling You'll because be money's not a concept. leisure leisure yeah ai robots yeah go to space yeah. for fun he's like i don't see that happening i said just keep an open mind and just be aware right. that it is i'm not coming. saying it's gonna happen in the next 10 years exactly but just, like you'll start to see glimpses of it like yeah. this is something that'll probably take effect maybe 2060 2080 or yeah. something like that but, but it's like a gradual right it's the in essence, the idea. Because you can't continue to advance and still assign, like, and still use money. Like, it, that yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, what the fuck does money mean when the world is global connected and everything is, like, you're already spacefaring. You you can mine resources from anywhere in the, the solar system. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense yeah. to even use money. You should just be like, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. And then you go get something to eat. Exactly. Without having to. And no one's going to be cooking it for you. Because yeah. it's going to be the robots. Yep. <laughs> They're going to know the right amount of spices. You're going to be like, I want to go to the moon for no fucking reason. You're going to be like, it tastes delicious, but it tastes vanilla. <laughs> Let me get one Nebula burger. Neptune fries. And moon shake. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Star Kid was on Bro. onto something. Yeah, so... um. Uh, we were just kind of we we're just kind of discussing discussing ter certain things like that and um but like i said man it's just they they recommend them and then i'll just watch them and it's not like um if the well. if if they tell me ahead of time what it is going to be then i'll get then i'll watch it and then i'll say okay i get it and then i'll jump into the second one like terrifier he's like you're not going to like the first one but watch it because it's gonna make sense when you watch the second one. And then when I watch the second one, I'm like, he, he's like, "How did you like it?" I said, "I wanna, I wanna know more. What's the next? What's the next story? What's going on?" So if on? someone tells me, like, if someone gives me a series of movies, where it's like, "You're not gonna like this movie. You're not gonna like this part. You're not gonna like this part." I'll just do what we did, what well, well, what I did with uh, Game of Thrones. No. Um, <laughs> What movie was it where I didn't see the previous film? Oh, Jurassic. Jurassic World. Because I didn't see the last two movies before they came out with... You saw the first one, but we didn't. you didn't watch the I second one. I didn't watch one. the second one, and, and then they... the third one, the third we're, we're going to go to the theater, so you just, right. went to, you just went to YouTube and it's It was like, like m movies in three minutes. Yep. 
and it healthily because you understood the, everything. And I understood yeah. everything, and I watched the 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 final uh, chapter of the whole Jurassic World. Uh-huh. They uh, try to trilogy. simulate the end of the world with the asteroids uh, on the island, which is why they had to get off the island and go into. The, why? Uh, why was that? <laughs> I don't know. We live in a world with dinosaurs. Wait, they tried to simulate the internet. Yeah, remember, you watched it. I did, but why? That doesn't make sense. There's so many easier ways. To tell you, this is the reason why why they spread. Spread throughout the universe. That's wild. Yeah, so. Movie logic's amazing. But then again, it also bleeds into reality. Yep. No, it's starting to become reality, Jeff. Or maybe it's always been reality. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Man, man, that's crazy. But no, yeah, like my day just literally consisted of 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 just bumming and watching movies to the point where I got tired and went and tried What's to go to sleep or couldn't sleep, go to sleep. Bro. And then you try to make me watch a documentary and you're like, really? Bro. As what? soon as I get home, you want to fall I was asleep? mad as shit. I was like. All right, Jeff, I got to go to the toilet. Watch this documentary. Bro, I was gone for five minutes. <laughs> I go back and this man. <laughs> bro, there's no way. There's uh, no way, bro. Because you looked so awake. Because I tried to sleep all day and it wasn't You know what that working. reminds me of? <laughs> With Rats? Squidward <laughs> played something in E minor for uh, Patrick. Oh, yeah, and he's like. <laughs> bro, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way, <laughs> bro. That's amazing. Oh, man. But do you understand no. why I want to be Patrick? Yeah, I want to be Patrick, bro. I don't be no one else. I just want to be Patrick. But then you're saying I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how you watch his TV. That's imagination, <laughs> bro. The motherfucker don't even got a brain. Yeah. He, he has a carton of milk for a brain. <laughs> He could have anything he wants. Oh I don't even think he God. eats. Does no, Patrick eat? No, we already discussed about that. Stars don't eat. He doesn't eat. You never see Patrick eat. SpongeBob and Patrick never eat. <laughs> no, they had to they have to eat. Remember the ocean. They absorb food through their skin. No no no, not literally. Not literally. I mean, like, in the show. Did they ever eat? No, I feel like they've eaten once. Yes. In the old, old episode. And, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, the, yeah. When, when SpongeBob had the Sunday. Hey, Pat, what did you eat? Some roast beef, a chicken, a pizza. What the fuck? No, I meant for breakfast this morning. Some roast beef, a chicken, a pizza. <laughs> I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> they like, got roast beef at Bikini Bottom? Bro. And that's the thing, SpongeBob. Like the show was actually low key self aware, because mm-hmm. like when they'd be like, for a prime example, hey, how is there a fire under? And it would just, uh, this <laughs> yeah, <fire. laughs> it would just yeah. disappear. I'm yeah. like, yo, chill. I'm like, chill, man. You ain't supposed to be doing that. I'm still a kid. Don't do that to me. Hey, it made you self aware before you were aware, and then when you were aware, they made it make sense. And what's crazy is I always tell you that the the first memory I ever had. Was when uh, I think mom asked you to change my diaper. That was the first memory I had. And then really? I really, yeah, that was the first memory. I still remember it to this day. You were changing my diaper on mom's bed, and uh, I peed on you. Yeah, and you started laughing, and I laughed at you, you dick. That memory is seared into. I think that's like the first conscious memory I ever had, and Fuck then that's up. when I knew. I'm him. <laughs> I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. What the oh, fuck? Oh, man. What the fuck? I'm going to remember my whole life, bro. That's what sucks, because I don't forget shit. Damn. Except for, like, long term, I remember. But, like, short term shit, like, we're talking about something. I'm not going to remember that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to remember that. Well, yeah, I mean, that's how it is. That's how come you can, that's how come when people say certain things, like, you're like, well, that's not what you said the last time. Bro, that should be tweaking me out, bro. Because, like, I literally remember what people say, but then it's like, I don't know, maybe I'm gaslighting myself. That's probably what it is. You should. You should. That's, like, the biggest gaslight. Yeah. That's reality gaslighting. Yeah, that's not not good. You're going to hear something, but I'm going to switch it up. And then the person will have never said that ever. That's not what I said. 
that's not what I said. And it's just like, yeah, you just true. get this throbbing pain in the back of your neck where it's like, ah, God damn it. You lost 3,000 brain cells Bro, and your tough. eye starts twitching. And it's you're like, what tough. The fuck? It's tough. I just, you know, hey, reality can be whatever you want. Whatever you want. And, and that's how I just, you know what I'm saying? That's how I combat gaslighting. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, all right. That's what you said. That's what you said. You know? Yeah. I hear you, man. But no, yeah, I mean that like I said, that was that was that was uh basically my uh Easter Sunday. I didn't really do anything too crazy. Um Who's doing anything crazy all these Oh wait. Matter of fact, they actually had a parade uh, in uh I think near Martin Luther King. Was it Bunny or Jesus? I don't know. I don't know. I'll still never understand money and eggs. I don't we have I think there's a there's actually history because I I've heard about the history behind it. Um let me put why the Easter bunny gives you eggs. I I don't get that. I'll never un- I will never understand that. Okay. According to some sources, the Easter bunny first arrived in America in the 1700s with German immigrants who settled in Pennsylvania and transported their tradition of egg-laying hair called Oster hair or o- Osterhaus. The bunnies o- lay eggs. Osterhaus. Okay. Their children made nests in which the bunny would lay eggs. That's trip as fuck. Oh, and I was actually going to bring that up earlier. The bunnies where... lay eggs, Jeff? I didn't even second thought, second guess that. That's actually crazy. Bunnies don't lay eggs. I oh, know. What the Bunnies fuck? don't lay eggs. They just, no, they don't. They just pop out the little baby. I can't believe I'm thinking this hard about that. They don't lay eggs. They don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> They're mammals. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they don't lay eggs. Oh, man. That's tough. I can't believe I had to think about that. What? Oh, I might have to go back to school. Speaking of going back to school, hear about that 28, 28-year-old uh, Jap- no, Taiwanese? No, South Korean. No. Yeah, South Korean lady who enrolled in a school in I believe New Jersey but she looked like high a school. kid but she like a kid yeah yeah and Smart. because cause she immigrated here when she was young and mm-hmm. she didn't have any friends and she felt lonely well that's her defense but she felt lonely so she enrolled in high school how did she do all that how did she find out how did they find out actually I should say hmm. that's the thing cause see Asian don't raisin bro that's facts. You just don't raise them. That's fact. They got that one piece life return, boy. Bro, not not right. when they hit eighty though. Oh yeah, absolutely. All that life force just gets sucked out. Yo. Of them. That life force gets uh gets gone. Mm-hmm. And then that's about it. High nice. school. Okay. Uh to promote twenty nine year old. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Uh huh. Uh, so, wait, what, what was your question? How did she do it? Yeah, like, how did she, like, well, how did they find her, figure, uh, how did they find out? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure, because, of course, yeah, she looks like a kid at 20, 29, but the question is, how did they find out that she was not a high schooler? Like, um, did she, like, illegally acquire her social security, change her age? Like, how did she get in? Uh, Shin gained provisional attendance to the school last week. New Brunswick Public School Superintendent Aubrey Johnson said in a statement, uh, once our staff determined, oh, okay, New Brunswick staff members discovered the deception while completing the established vetting protocols and promptly barred her from entering any district property, according to the statement. Once our staff determined it was dealing with fraudulent information, they immediately notified the appropriate authorities. Well-being of our students' staff... So I don't even think she even made it to a class. Oh, okay. She was just in she the process. She was enrolling, of, right? Gotcha. That makes sense. So she was in the process of trying to get in, but ended up not being able to. Make oh, she it. gained provisional admittance. So both the police and school district said that state law prohibits a student being prevented from attending school based on lack of documentation or immigration status. Okay. So she gained provisional admittance to the school. Okay. 
but as they but as she continued participating of course they're still processing her you know f- information and documents and shit and they yeah. found out all that shit was fake uh okay okay That's okay so she's in the process of but didn't yeah. make it like she was her. attending school it, okay you know how like kind of like in grade school um you could attend the first week of school mm-hmm. but if you didn't fill out a certain type of form they wouldn't let you in. They wouldn't let you in. I got you. I yeah. Got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought I was the only one who remembered that. Because I remember they did that for me in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. They did that for me in sixth grade. I don't know if they do that for you in high school, though. But they did that for me in kindergarten, and they did that for me in sixth grade. So they'll let you attend the first week while they're still processing and enrolling To see you. if you, yeah. Because it's, right. like, it's like if you didn't get your shots, you'll still be able to go to school. Right. But if your shots don't come through within right. that two-week period, then you have to get go home out. until you can get the get shots. Fuck out. Yeah, that makes sense. Stay dumb. What the fuck? Stay dumb. Yeah. No, no, no I understand that. I, I see what you're saying. Because I was like, how did, how did she get through all that and start going to school? No, she went to school. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's I get that. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Today, nowadays, it's harder to do that. But back in the early 2000s, it was easy as fuck. Oh, yeah. We already know. It sucks, though. They lost their championship. They they won 12 games but couldn't go anywhere. They went undefeated. The the following year, they went undefeated. Yes, they went undefeated but couldn't go anywhere because of that. But the prior year, they went to the state championship. Mm -hmm. Did they win it? They won it. They took away. Because I remember they won 04. They kept that one. Okay, but they didn't win. The, they, but they, they went 07, I believe. 07, but they couldn't, yeah, but they couldn't keep it. Or no, they couldn't go be, no, they won the soccer, but they were the trophy was taken from them. It was the soccer? It was the soccer. Oh, because, yeah, because he was on, he was their kicker for the football team. Yes. And I guess that really didn't make an impact. No, because he but like kicked for the what, soccer what? team that won the championship. They they they, they stripped them of they their stripped title. them of their title. Found out, bro, was thirty two years old. Yep, bro, in high school. That's crazy. And he was, and, and everybody That's looked at that nigga and they're like, yeah, bro, you are bro. not fucking seventeen. I've seen bro. a seventeen year old. And you know it's creepy too. Like it was low key like interacting with this nigga with these children. That's crazy. Was he like forty five? That's crazy. No, nah, this motherfucker gotta be sixty now, bro. <laughs> that man gotta be sixty now, bro. What the heck? That was what two thousand seven. Yeah. If you were what thirty, I was seventeen. No, no. If he was thirty, that was oh six, oh seven. At twenty oh seven, yeah, because he was supposed to graduate the same year as uh, uh, Jeffy. Yeah. So oh seven thirty. And then to 17, that's 10 years. So that's 40. 40. And then, what do we say? Add six more years. So 46. He's 46 right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, boy. You got to be careful. Man. I mean, they, they they put him back on the news, well, a year or two later and says, oh, he got, he got his GED. GED. All that stuff like that. But it's like, that's what you could have done in the first place. But, man, you put so many kids at risk, though, bro. Like, you really did. Yep. You really did. And I'm not even talking about, like, like in terms of, like, a, like sexual assault. I mean, like, what if you got in a fight? You can kill him. You could Cause you kill had, him you up, had, you, you, had grown, grown man, you got your grown man, man strength. strength. Yeah, Boy, what the fuck? You supposed to be doing plumbing? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stop! Oh, that's crazy, uh, man! Shit! What the fuck? Yep. You supposed to be doing construction, man? Mm-hmm. You got your grown man strength. That's crazy. Oh, the rock him, sock him, motherfucker! God damn it! Fuck! Man. Knock his block off! <laughs> blah blah blah! <laughs> what the fuck? But that's crazy. No, nah, man. Yeah, but yeah, I know that that, that incident happened. But I, I don't think that I think that the initial process is either that. But the principal knew at the time. I think he knew. He just wanted. He just wanted to give him an opportunity because when man, they, that principal didn't give no fucks. Man. Nah, dude, we were failing. He's like, we're in F. We might as well go out. And love. That's crazy. He like, said, we gonna die lit, bro. What <laughs> the fuck? He's like, we failing. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Parties every day. <laughs> Parties and football and pep rallies, bro. Yeah, that's all we did. That's Fuck all we state did. scores. <laughs> Fuck the insanely high teen pregnancy rate, bro. That's crazy. Stop, bro. That motherfucker was like, that nigga didn't give a fuck, bro. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. Nah, he didn't care, man. <laughs> he didn't care. Every day was a party, man. 
F yeah. school. F school for 12 years straight. Yeah. F school for like, 12 bro. years straight. Dropout rate was like 60%. They're like, bro, what you doing? And every every pep rally, every every schoolyard event, we were always there. Were always uh, he was always singing. In part, he was always part of the event singing. But was always singing. I was. I'm pretty sure bro came to work. I I even remember when the high school students used to come to our elementary school to dance because they did like the single de Mayo, or right, 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 flag day or all that stuff like that. He was there singing too. That's crazy. Mm. That man had to be off a of perky, bro. bro every day, every day he woke up. Every man day. did a. Did a perk or a bump, and he just came and said, fuck it, we about to educate these kids, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Dropout rate was dumb. Yep. Every year, only six niggas graduated. Yep, and then you had about 50 teen, teen pregnancies. That was crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Now you barely see any. Motherfucker was building a village behind the school. No, gates. like that's I said, crazy. now you barely see any. So that's why it was a shock to me when I was, the store I'm helping out right now, when I saw a 14-year-old pregnant girl, and I'm like, that's rare. That's beyond rare. <laughs> that's beyond rare. Bro, that's weird. That's unfathomable. Go get an adult, bro. bro. What the fuck? Go get an adult. That's crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. So, no, but it, it, yeah, it's you don't see that, bro. That's rare. You don't see that. Is Teen Mom still a fucking popular show? Uh, when I was in high school, that shit was like. Now that they're all in top Topping the charts. Because remember, bro. they're only a year younger than me. So now that they're all in their 30s, they're just showing you what they've done. Oh, so they're just kind of following their life. Like, they're not promoting yeah. new Yeah, so they teen changed moms. the name. Yeah, because they tried to do the teen moms. The young, they, they tried to redo teen moms, but it didn't work out. But the teen moms, because remember the first teen moms, you don't hear anything about them. It's the right. teen mom two, the ones that are a year or two younger than me. But it got weird because, like, some of them were, like, intentionally... Like getting, getting pregnant, pregnant. so they yeah, could, because they want to be part of the they show because they uh, get paid contracts, yeah. famous, yep. clout, yeah, shit. exactly. But at the end of the day, they all worked hard to get where they are at today. Like um, one of the one of the teen moms that was everything that was given to her, she owns a a line of clothes, purses, stuff like that, and then she's now flipping houses with her husband. Yeah, because the first, yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? And then and then of course the other one, the one that always had the tattoos. Right. Uh, that married the Spanish guy mm -hmm. and had kids with three different baby daddies. Yeah, I know. Um, she has her own podcast. She has her own cannabis lotion line, all that stuff like that, shampoo, all that stuff. Oh, wow. So they're doing very well for themselves. They're so just she's drop shipping? No, no, no. Like, she owns her own product business, oh, okay, all that okay. stuff like that. Yeah, like okay. everything like that. Um, and then she does her own podcast um, on the side, too. But it's like she they worked hard after that show it's not like they banked on just the show it's just the cameras decided to follow them after, after team. The show. so they called it something else they probably hey that that was hey, of course yeah yeah for sure absolutely. and it's like it is what you do with it because remember in the early 2000s you didn't get paid shit like they'll, but i wonder they'll, how they'll, that contract worked because they were minors the money probably all went to them though because remember one of them what what do you call that when you're when you but i thought you need like Parental. Well, when you give away your parental from your. Oh, um. When you separate yourself from your parents and become an adult, illegal. I know what you're talking about. Yes. So the ones with the tattoos, I don't know her name, but the ones with the tattoos, um, she gave, she did that because her mom was very abusive and all that stuff like that verbally, mm -hmm. and then of course the one that was pampered her entire life, her parents, she probably gave the money to her parents. But no, man. Um, yeah, they kind of just they kind of just uh, follow their life and um, um, emancipated. Yes, there you go. They kind of just follow their life, and they kind of been just doing doing um, a lot of things by themselves. So let me see if I can find this. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, 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 man. It's not. It's not like. Uh, it's not like they stayed stagnant and didn't do shit. That's the thing. I feel like American culture just replaces one bullshit with another bullshit that targets teenagers to do dumb shit exactly and it's like it, it, it fell out of it fell out of it's uh, not in style like, it's not yeah it fell out of style yeah like again girls don't. i can't believe that was ever popular though like i don't know like i feel like you not set up a generation for failure but like i don't know i feel like you kind of held them back because that's like a kid raising a kid 
No, I agree, man. Yeah, it's like a kid raising a kid. I, mean, I agree. To, to propagate that idea that, hey, you could be famous, you know, if you have a kid. That's exactly. And that's and literally in the mid-10s is when they kept trying to get pregnant so they can right. get on the show. And because they, it ran for a few more seasons, right? Like yeah, that. they did Teen Mom 2. Um, they did, there's Teen Mom OG, Teen Mom 2. Because Teen Mom OG and Teen Mom 2, those were the only women that became successful in what they did. Right. After that, it was just like... Yeah, then they did Teen one, Mom. No one really trying to yeah. keep up with that. Yeah, no one was trying to... Because it wasn't dramatic enough the, like the Kardashians. The, the mentality started shifting. That's like, yep. Yeah. Because we... You know how they... When, like, an uh, uh, idea takes the, the country by storm and it's super popular. Yeah. And then... Once you realize, like, the dark side of it, it's like, eh. It's like, I don't know. Well, and the thing, too, is, and the, these girls, after even their contract was done, they could have said, oh, this is what the the guys behind the camera did and all that shit like that. But in all almost all the videos, you would literally see them talking to the producer on camera. Because right. remember, the producer, the director, they would literally go on camera and have conversations with them like they were best friends. Mm -hmm. So it's like they were interacting with the girls. They weren't just behind the camera saying, all or right. that the era of like multiple births, John and Kate, Octo Mom. O yeah, Octo Mom was a bitch. That was crazy. The, uh, and the, then the Duggars, the the fucking one million kids. The Pedos. One million kids and counting. <laughs> one million kids and nonstop. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. No, no, no. Like, um. The mission to repopulate the earth. Bro, it was fuck? crazy, bro, because Octo Mom was a bitch. She literally went from to, from broke to joke. Motherfucker thought he was Noah. Like, repop. <laughs> repop. <laughs> He's like. God said, make more kids. Crazy, bro. But it got bad. Yeah, it she, got to the point where, like, she couldn't even hold the pregnancy. Like, the term would... She wouldn't even make it through term. Because the womb was so... Because it was, like, every year. It was literally every year. Immediately, Immediately after she gave birth. After she healed, she was good for about three months. She jumped right back into it. And then she just had another kid. And to the point where... Not a woman. So, I well, don't yeah, yeah, know yeah, yeah. what that feels no, no, like. Well, but to, yeah. that seems exhausting, bro. She loved having kids. Like, that seems physically taxing like, i mean like because i know that i know on the show before all the bullshit came out where, she had a miscarriage and then she had the twins and then right. after that the doctor's like you can't have you any more can't kids have any because and then i think the last two kids came out like not all there no they're there they're there were the twins yeah they're there they weren't like special no <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to say because <laughs> she started at 18 she started having kids at 18 and then stopped when she hit, like, towards the mid-30, 30, 30, 35s. So it's like when she got to 35 and she was trying you know to... You know what reminds me of? What's up, man? That's like... What's that? That TikTok you? that we saw was like... <laughs> the lady was like, breakfast, <laughs> lunch, dinner, don't matter, before work, <laughs> in the shower, after shower, before <laughs> bed, when we wake up brushing your teeth... <laughs> Her husband's getting that, that nut. <laughs> 27, Jeff, careful. 27 nuts a day. People are like, nah, bro. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Three to four in one, in one sitting is fine, but 27? That's crazy. That's pushing it, bro. Holy fuck. My soul's leaving my body and going right back in. Boy, I'd look like a Dementor from Harry Potter, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way, uh, bro. I'm shooting dust after that. What the <laughs> fuck? That's crazy. Blanks, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. Hey, yo, what the That's fuck? That's crazy. You're going to have to give me an IV and hella Gatorade, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I need more energy. 27 nuts a day. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. There is such thing as too much of a good thing. Yeah, there is. And 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 I was reading the comments. On that, and all the guys are like, "Hey, yeah, where do we find her?" Blah blah blah. Bullshit. Nah, bullshit. Because bullshit. you know why? You've never done twenty-seven. You're a virgin. That's yeah. why. What the You've fuck? That's what a virgin would say. Yeah. Twenty-seven nuts a day. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. That's fucking insane. Get out of here, that's bro. That's fucking insane. That get out of here. <clears throat> that's someone who has no idea what they're talking. No, about. I don't even think porn stars do twenty-seven nuts a day. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. I think. I think um, what she's doing is 
she's correlating a male nut to a female nut, and it's like it's not the same thing. It's not. It's the not the same, same thing. thing. Women have multiples in 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 a couple sittings where guys, it takes us literally, fuck. Like and it and it and it can get painful. Yeah, it does. Like after two or three nuts, like that's that's painful. Now, now what are you doing exactly? Like that shit's painful, bro. I can feel that shit in my spine, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? I get a headache. <laughs> I know scoliosis from hunching over so many times. Oh, what the shit. fuck? What the hell? Nah, nah. stop. Stop. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, I'm sorry. We got to break up. Nah, I was watching the... Um, uh, <laughs> we got to break up. I was watching... The, we'll end up on the, I need me a woman look, that's celibate, bro. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> that's hella trauma. You know what that is? A mystery. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the Oh, oh shit! Man. And in 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 crazy land, you'll probably find that. That's not crazy. Here. What are you do? Oh, bro. that's crazy. That's crazy. No, but I want to end off on this last thing because I was watching uh, uh, a Scottish show where it's called Extraordinary. Where um, first season came out, the second season already started. Mm -hmm. Where uh, people have powers, but there's this girl. She's age 25. She still hasn't gotten hers yet. So she wants to go to a clinic to try to like bring out her latent abilities. And she met a dude on a blind date. Because on average, you you get your powers at 18. She's 25. And she's Pause. Like, I feel like this is going to be some bullshit, Jeff. <laughs> I can just sense it. My bullshit senses are tingling. But go ahead. Okay. All right. And then so she meets this guy on the dating app. And he's talking to her. And then he tries to shake her hand. And he's like, wait, wait, wait. He puts on his Michael Jackson gloves. And then he shakes her hand. She's like... Okay, and then they continue. They continue to the date, and they're talking and talking. And he's like, "Sorry, I have to tell you something about my power." She's like, "Okay, but you can't laugh." And then she's like, "Okay, I won't laugh. My power is to make people come." <laughs> was that that clip I saw where everyone was like, "No," or like? But I don't think it was by touching them. I think his power was like, if I think about it. Oh, he makes them nut. He makes them nut. Yeah. And he made everybody nut. Oh, my God. Everyone in the public square. I think that was a different one. That was a different that one. That was a different one. They were like superheroes or some shit. So he's like, yeah, he's like, so oh God, I got to tell you the story. He's like, so, how, so he's like, she's like, that's cool. And he's like, no, it's actually horrific. I'm, and she's like, what happened? Well, um. My, I was playing football with my sixty-year-old father, and <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh and, no! And he's like, it was in front of the entire family because we we're having a family reunion. So I was playing. I was playing football with my sixty-year-old father. Sensational. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and. I, I, I scored a goal, so he was so proud of me. And me not seeing my father in a while because we kind of parted ways, uh, went to, in to give him a handshake. He's like, keep in mind, the whole family was there. So as soon as I shake his hand, he falls to the ground. Me thinking <laughs> that he was having a heart attack. I, hey, yo, what the fuck? I kept giving him chest compressions. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> And he was wearing khaki pants. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yep. Yep. So, yep. All right, yep. Wow. That's <sighs> crazy. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. So, that's how that. That's ends. crazy. And she tried so hard not to laugh. But, um, no, nah, I, just, I just thought I'd bring that up after you said 20. Oh, that's crazy. Yep. He's because every, it's every time he touches you, not I touch you, that's it. It's any touch. It's like a little brush. A little brush, a, a kiss on the lips, so he can't physically have sex. That's tough. Yep. That sucks. <laughs> that's that's hard to find love. Yep. yep. Wait, you know it reminds me of Misfits. Yes, yes. She had that same. But this ability. was this was a light this was a light hearted light hearted one. Yeah, this was like Wait, Misfits wasn't light. No, it was T V M A had nudity. No, okay, but it was still funny as shit. Though. It was, it was, but you Did know. you shat my bed? Did your friend just take a shit on my bed? What the fuck? That was crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, that was fucking weird. <laughs> bro, that show was Who crazy. Who takes a shit on your bed? Bro, shat his bed, bro. Alright, man. European culture. That's crazy.
Yeah, that's I thought crazy. I'd bring that up since you. No, nah, that's that's funny. That's, funny. that's crazy. That's man. fucking insane. That's insane. But um, all right, no guys, way. we're gonna end it here. No way. Um, we'll see you guys. What again. an interesting way to yeah. end that. Huh? Yeah, that's how we leave. We leave a bad taste in their mouth. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, all right, guys. Um, we'll see you uh, on Thursday. Yeah. Yes, yeah. We yes, we will. But uh, guys. See you. Thursday. Thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to see our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we're on YouTube, One Word Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout the, um, the show. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, of course, leave us a comment if you want us to talk about anything in particular or just um, shout us out or anything like that. Um, guys, again, thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. See ya.